Okay, we're going to have a go at an AS Maths proof question. All right, let's have a look at this first part. Show that x squared minus 8x plus 17 is greater than 0 for all real values of x. For questions like this, completing the square is going to be really useful. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to complete the square. So I'm now going to write this quadratic in an equivalent form. Um, so x minus 4. So we always want to have half of the coefficient of x here. Now, if I expand these brackets, I'll get x squared minus 4x minus 4x and minus 8x. And then minus 4 times 1 minus 4 is plus 16. So comparing this to what I have here, I can see I actually want plus 17. So I need to add 1 to this to make it balance and make it equivalent. I've just written this in a different way. We want to show then that this is greater than 0. Now, let's have a look at this first part here. Now, whenever you square any type of number, it's going to become positive. The smallest it can be is zero, 0. So this part here is always going to be greater than or equal to 0, never negative. So I'll now go on and I can put down that. Uh, and I'll put since. I'll put it in a sentence. So since x minus 4 all squared is greater than or equal to 0, it then follows then, or you could put the word therefore, that x minus 4 all squared plus 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 1. Just adding one, side, 1 to each side of this inequality. It follows then that the statement x or the expression x minus 4 all squared plus 1, if it's greater than or equal to 1, it's greater than 0. So I always want to finish with a conclusion. This was the completed squared form. I've proved that this is greater than zero. So I'll just write down, therefore, my original um, quadratic a, uh, x squared minus 8x plus 17 is greater than zero as required. OK, second part of the question here. If I add 3 to a number and square the sum, the result is greater than the square of the original number. State given a reason if the above statement is always true, sometimes true or never true. So I am going to use the letter X to represent my number. I can use any letter I like. The advantage of using X is there may be something that I do in my working here that relates to what I've done in the first part of the question may or may not let's see so we're now going to write down what we have in quotes here as a statement as some sort of inequality or equality or algebraic expression so if i add three to a number okay so my number's x i'm adding three to a number then i square the sum okay so i, I need to put brackets because i'm going to sum them first then square it and we want to see if the result um, is greater than the square of the original number. So is this greater than the square of the original number? OK, so we want to prove if this statement is true or not. So let's expand the brackets. So if I do that, I'll get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 6x and then plus 3 times 3 plus 9 is greater than x squared. Let's take away x squared from both sides. So I'll have 6x plus 9 is greater than 0. Let's take away 9 from both sides. So we'll have 6x greater than negative 9. And divide both sides by 6. x is greater than negative 9 over 6. We'll simplify that fraction. So x greater than negative 3 over 2. Right, so working backwards, that means that this original statement here is only true when x is greater than negative 3 over 2. So I'm going to write that down. Always write down what you're thinking. So x plus 3 all squared greater than x squared is only true for x greater than negative 3 over 2. So that means that this statement here is only true 
for negative 3 over 2. So the statement is only true for x is greater than negative 3 over 2. So the statement is only sometimes true is only sometimes true because it's only true for some values of x not for all and not for none 